Yo, 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 what is up everybody? Sorry I'm a bit late. I had a long night and a rough start and things got crazy this morning and I couldn't couldn't get started on time. I really apologize for that. I hope you will uh, forgive me. I didn't even get to put music on here, so this is what it is. Um uh, yeah. So welcome, welcome to the live stream. And actually, just before I started the live stream, I ended up having to run outside because I got something in the mail that I think I have been waiting for. I think this is it. And I'm quite excited. <laughs> Actually, I was, I was just looking at something that was not working. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, give me one second here. Hi from Sumproy. What's up, Sum? Oh, what's up, Sumproy? What's up, dude? No, well, I guess we could turn that off. All right. So, what's up, guys? Yeah, so this is something that I have uh, been waiting for, and some people have had already, but I didn't, and it literally just came in. Like, just before I jumped on the stream, this, my doorbell rang, and this was there. So needless to say, I am very, very excited about this. How do I pop this out? Bam. So now we have this. So, needless to say, I am quite excited. And I'm, I'll actually open this on stream for you guys. But, I'm, I, I can't tell you how excited I am for this. So, <clears throat> a few other things. Um, I have been pretty sick. I've been pretty sick lately. And, uh... That's why I haven't really made any videos, because I really haven't been able to function, uh, I think is the best way to put it. So, I've been streaming a lot, and I'm going to be streaming more, uh, for various reasons. One, I really enjoy it. So, I'm going to put a link in the chat, and uh, I stream on Twitch. So if you guys want to hang out, play some games, that's where I do it. And I really would appreciate you just going down and just hanging out with me over there too, not just here. Uh, I do rant, you know, people ask me things all the time while I'm, while I'm on there. And uh, I'll, I'll get to the poop story, C. Lee. <laughs> and uh, and I, I teach stuff on there too, randomly, not just a set thing. So that's one thing. The other thing is, I am starting to get better, so it will be uh, starting up again. Uh, I have some things I need to get filmed. It, it, has, it still is kind of difficult. Mostly, uh, what it is, is I have vertigo, right? And what vertigo is, it's an inner ear problem, and it makes you not be able to keep your balance. So if I turn my head too quickly, I immediately feel so dizzy that I fall over. And it happens while I'm driving, it happens while I'm filming, it happens when I'm standing. Sometimes even sitting it'll happen to me. So I have to be real careful because I've almost killed myself a few times because I, I wasn't careful. Um, 
And that's really what it is. Like I was filming a project the other day and randomly while I'm filming, I had to hand the camera off and be like, dude, can you just hold this real quick? Cause I, I just can't do it. So that's really what it is. Now you guys know that's that that's what's happening. Uh, I tried to, I tried to keep it kind of quiet, but it's not working. Um, the other thing we're going to be looking at some cards. I'm going to do a video on these, but I'll show you some of the cards that I got this year. And I even have cards I can't even show you. I can't even show them to you because they're that exclusive. They're that exclusive. Um, nah, not really. There's not much treatment for... What the hell? Who the hell is Dean Scott? Shut up and magic me. And time out, bro. Um, Rasan, thank you for the follow on Twitch, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, what do you say we get down to this and some other things, and then we will, uh, get to the tutorial? Yeah? I think so. Let's do that. So, as you can see, oh, you know, I got to hit you guys with the proper. I got to hit you guys with the proper. I'm sorry. I didn't do it properly. Bam. So, here we are. And, uh. 40, I don't know what that is, but thank you, Joshua, for that 40 thing donation. <laughs> I should bring this up, too. Did you say anything? No. And I wish it would tell you what kind of uh, donation it is. But anyway. Oh, you're in the magic shop right now? That's funny. <laughs> So, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I can't wait. So, let's, here, look at the knife. so excited I know I know exactly what this is I don't want you guys to see any bit of it yet oh man <laughs> all right So this is the book, man. Magic is dead. This is the the pre-production proof. This is not the fin the actual finished book. This is the soft copy pre-prediction book. Um yeah. So as you can see, sent on uh it's on sale February 26th 2019 so this is the early copy uh, magic is dead magic is dead you meet some 52 funny Marilyn. so yeah yeah so that's uh, <clears throat> Xavier, thanks for your support. Any way you can spread word about Ian's book is appreciated. We'll have a finished book for you in February as well. I think that's directly from the publisher themselves, <clears throat> which is Day Street and HarperCollins that are publishing this book. Uh, so you can go pre-order this right now if you want, and they'll the minute they uh, put it out, this will be sent out to you. You'll get it before everyone. Yo, relax, Proly. 
Prole, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, you, you guys have no idea how excited I'm about this book. I've been with Ian for almost every step of this book. Uh, and Ramsey. And Ramsey also. Uh, Ian's actually become a really good friend of ours. Family, man. He's family now. He became part of the 52. And uh, supposedly I have a pretty big part in this book. So... Yeah, I'm. I'm really. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm. I'm in a book, like this. Like it's not a magic book. It's just a book. Wow. Well, okay, cool. Sorry that it's kind of kind of nostalgic for me, because, like I said, I've been through every step of the book with this guy so it's like here I, and and just last a couple of weeks ago me and and chris ramsey went with ian to do some of the promo shoots and some of that other stuff so yeah okay what else did i want to do oh okay so i'm, I'm gonna be doing a bigger video on this but i just wanted to show you guys some of the cards that i've gotten this year that i can show you i have cards that i can't show you also but these, I haven't even opened these. And the gold knocks. Let me... I have, oh, this one, this, these two go together. So some of you guys have seen these cards. I bet you some, some of you haven't. Because uh, that's just the nature of it. Uh, so these came out this year. DMC was kind enough to send me a bunch of these. He knows I love them. Uh, so these came out. Uh, these are the... This is the Koi deck. This is... This is a, a really nice deck. <laughs> Just <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. So my friend Byron made these cards. And uh <laughs> I'm actually on this card. Like uh what card? Uh, he he puts my name on here. And actually, there's another deck of cards that came out that I'm actually on, but I haven't gotten those yet. This is the Koi deck by Byron. So you could go check him out at that Instagram right there. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Uh, then we have the blue ribbon cards, which I, I'm ashamed to say I don't know who makes these. Uh... But I was sent these. I, Ricky Smith sent me a text and said that the person who made these wants me wants to send them to me. So I have these. <laughs> these are dope. And then. These, these are the gold Fort Knox, which Nick Suriano gave me. Actually, I just saw him time somebody out. So Nick Suriano gave me this uh, before he finished the trailer that everybody saw, which was by far the best trailer that I've ever seen for a deck of cards. And it's crazy that I know the guy who did it because his stuff is dope. Nick Suriano is an amazing, amazing guy, videographer, editor. He's awesome. Um, and then these. These um, are from a convention. These are from a convention uh, in North Carolina called the uh, Tri-State Close-Up, right? Tricks? I don't remember. But... Tri C's, uh, yeah, Cl uh, Carolina Close Up Convention. It says it right on the box. I'm so stupid. Oh, there's Nick. Love you, man. Hey, go follow Nick Soriano if you haven't. I'm sure you guys already do on on YouTube and Instagram. Go check him out. Name, say thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so this was a deck of cards that was made for that convention, and actually, I 
should have thought of this before the stream, you know? But I didn't. So it's happening live. And I can't edit. You know what I'm saying? So this also came with a book. Now, the guy who, who made all this stuff, his name is Chris Hogg. Hage, Hagey, Page. He goes by all those names. Uh, super, super awesome guy. Really good magician. Really kind guy. And he sent me some of these cards. And the book that... Now, most of this was only sold at the convention. Uh, I'm pretty sure these cards are still around. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But let me look at his message real quick I, it's been a while because i got sick and then i stopped responding to people it's kind of rude of me yeah so you could go to wondercraft magic right i think is the website let me put it yeah wondercraft magic dot com so that will be there and you can, and I'll actually take a look at them real quick. I'm sorry if I'm missing super chats, guys, because I'm not, I'm not really seeing everything happen at once here. Wait, I can't even move this. Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, thank you for the uh, donation. Seriously, I seriously appreciate it. You guys don't have to do it, but thank you. Um. So that one guy donated, I want to say that's a pound, 229 pounds. Thanks for streaming to get better soon. Thank you, that one guy. I appreciate that. Um, what was I saying? Somebody donated something. I can't even read the message because the message was retracted. Euros? That's euros? Okay. So 225 euros. Somebody donated 5 CHF. I don't know what CHF is. I used to be a paramedic, and CHF is congestive heart failure. Uh, and that's when you have a lot of, like, fluid building up in your uh, lungs and stuff. I know that's usually not a good thing. <laughs> but apparently I got five of them. I got five congestive heart failures. Then, of course, Joshua De Silva. The 40 weird symbols. He sent me 40 of them. I appreciate it. Oh, also, too, these cards right here. Oh, we'll get to these. So, yeah. So, this is a booklet that was given out at the convention. I think they're still sold. These guys from North Carolina, every one of them, when they put out a book or a pamphlet or something like this, it is just of the best quality, like ever. It's crazy. Look at this. This is so nice. It's got like the spot uh, UV coating embossed. This one doesn't. This is like the regular deck. What the hell is wrong with my watch? right like it you know what i'm gonna open one of these right now because i haven't opened these at all wow i actually opened up real nice bam oh Look at these. Oh, that ace is nice. You can't really see it, but there's like a little shadow around it. Okay. I guess these are all custom uh, standard faces. Chill out, man. I was joking. I don't, I don't read Spanish. But all good, man. Double backer, double face, uh, blank card. Yeah, it's cool. Actually, I'll show you something cool. I'm going to do a video on uh, double backers and what to do with them. But yeah, these are nice. Wow. I know, you know, I know uh, a deck came out. I think Josh J put it out that was like this, and I really didn't like it at all. This actually turned out really nice. 
Really nice deck. I wonder what the black ones look like. I don't want to open them, though. It's the only one I have. So that is that. Put this aside. Oh, Nick, guess what came... I don't know if you were here when it came in, but check it out. Bam! Got it. Got it. And then this deck of cards right here came out... Uh, from my friend Z that uh, does the amazing Retention Vanish. And actually, he put out a deck... Uh, he put out his work on the pass also. And this is his deck, the Northfell deck. Uh, really nice. So there you go. Those are some of the cards that I got this year. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a longer video, like the cards of 2018. But I just wanted to show them quickly because I like them. And most of these guys who put this stuff out are my friends, and my friends are awesome. I have I I am lucky enough to have some of the best friends in the world. So cool. All right. So which I see, and also too, see, I have a deck of cards right here. I can't, I can't even show you guys what deck this is. I cannot even show you guys what this is. Bam. So, uh, as far as my work and Z's work on the past, as, as I saw his and he put his out, it's pretty much the same mechanics. We're pretty much doing the same thing. We're just doing it for different purposes in different ways. He he adds emotion. I try to take it away. That's all. But it's pretty much the same action. Z's awesome though. If if you haven't seen Z's work, you should check it out. Um. Uh, so what should I? What deck should I use? You know what? We're gonna be using the blue ribbons. This is the deck we're using. Bam bam. Can you show me some magic? Nope. Can't show you nothing. <clears throat> the deck looks ugly. What are you talking about, man? This is like an old school design. The blue ribbons. I know this is a revamp of a design. I just don't know what design it is. Ooh. Sorry about that. Aristocrats. Aristocrats. That's it. Aristocrats. Good job, guys. All right. <clears throat> so, let's start with two things. One is going to be the first trick I ever learned <laughs> should i do that yeah i'll do that the first trick i ever learned and then i'll probably add it into a video just because i know i wanted to do a video on it but this was not the not the first thing that got me into magic but the first um do do your classic pass real fast all right there you go. Okay, classic pass. Um, <laughs> Z's full name is Jabrizi. That's funny. Uh, no. All right. <laughs> we'll get there. Hold on, guys. So the first thing that I, I remember is sitting at the gym. I used to go to the gym. And some guy had a stack of credit cards, a small stack of credit cards. And he did this. And basically, this is what it was. The hand goes in front, pushes this card up and around, and down in front of the other card. So from the, right, from the top, it's that, right? And it, I'm flashing like hell there. I can't even remember where the camera is, right? So it's just this. And man, at the time... I was like, holy cow. That was awesome. 
And he showed it to me with credit cards. And I grabbed his credit cards. And I started doing it. Because, uh... <laughs> it was... It was crazy. But anyway, so this is what it is. I, I'm not going to do a long thing on this. We're going to talk some more about some other things. But this is what it is. So, your hand slides forward and it pushes this card up right and it does that behind your hand right and now your hand is going to come around and it's just it's just staying there and now you just put it down <laughs> you just replace it right but it's one of those things that you know like i, I had never seen anything like that and it was just so amazing to me. And I, and I literally learned it. And I went around doing this non-stop. Almost ridiculously non-stop. Okay. Almost ridiculously non-stop. That's how much I did it. Uh, I don't know if, it, if it's an expert in the car, at the car table. I have no idea. But I do know... Take care, Jeff Patton. Thanks for stopping by, man. Is it? Yes, Andrew Change. <laughs> it was just so cool. And I remember sitting there and going, holy cow, that's amazing. I don't remember exactly how old I was. It was a long time ago, man. I'm just saying. Ace, is your real name Ace? So. Yeah, so I learned that. And, and the guy who taught it to me wasn't even a magician. He just knew that I was getting into it and that I liked it. And he, he had been doing that for years. And he taught it to me. And that was, that was the first thing other than a back palm that I learned. Literally. That was the first thing other than a back palm that I learned. Which is... <laughs> this is crazy. If this trick was a hobo, I'd give it a dollar. Nice. I, I did the pass already. I'm not going to do the pass. Yep. It just takes time, Zach. You got to... You got to develop it. It takes time. It's not Nothing happens overnight, bro. So, so, real quick. What do you guys think of this setup? What do you think of this... This live stream setup where, you know, I can go back and forth. What do you think about this? Yeah? You love it? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I stayed up late because I wanted it to look a certain way. And I had to redo things on my Twitch stream. So I said, you know what, let me set everything up for YouTube. And this is what it did. So, I hope you enjoy it. Other than the eerie. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I have to figure out a way to lower the audio on the transition. So, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, pink cake. Oh, yeah, pink cake. That's what you get. That's what you get. Kenneth, I am not using a green screen. Actually, everything is literally floating behind me, and I have a void of space behind me. And I've also shrunk. This is all real. There's nothing fake about it. Kubert, thank you for the follow, sir. <laughs> 20 dB. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm not going to teach the clip shift because that's something that's being sold right now. You can order it from Dan and Dave. So if you want to learn the clip shift, you can go learn it from them. All right. So how many of you guys know how to do this? What I'm doing right here, if you know what I'm doing here. Do any of you guys even know what I'm doing? I did the pass, so stop asking. Okay, this is interesting. 
So here's the ace of, of diamonds. And this is the up the ladder cut. Right? So I'll show you what it looks like here. It is a completely false cut. So let's show you guys this now. Uh, so <clears throat> a lot of people that, I, that do stuff like this, like table cuts, I've seen them do stuff like this where they'll do a cut like this and then there. So instead, I'm going to show you how to do a, a complete false run cut or up the ladder. It's actually called a box cut. But yeah. So here's what it is. There's m many more techniques you can use, but this is the one that I use. So to start off with, we'll start with the two of diamonds. You're going to undercut about a quarter of the deck. And when you bring it back, you're going to hold a break with your thumb. Right? Thank you for the follow on a Twitch Sheen Sparrow. So now from here, you're going to break off that break you're going to come back but you're not going to align it here you're going to align it here like this offset and from here you're going to grab a little piece of that packet and you're going to align it like this so now you have a sandwich see that and now from here you strip out that block with the original top half and you do it again so it revolves around. So you strip out part from the bottom. You go here. Now you strip out. Now you go here. Strip out. Strip out. And, and, and with speed, it gets faster and faster, right? So so once you, you get it kind of going, right, that's it. That's all you have to do. <clears throat> so this is obviously... Oh, Bob's shirt on... Uh, the Twitch, thank you, sir. So, yeah, this live will be saved for a little bit. For a little bit. I'll probably just keep it up for like a day or two and then I'll take it down. So, this is the run cut. Now, if you actually do the cut, right, it's like this. But there you go. Uh, what do you think of the power of one by Alec Blanco? I I think he sent it to me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. A lot of things have been going on, and I don't want to be a dick, but I think he sent it to me, but I haven't seen it. I haven't looked at it. Uh, but I do know Alec, and Alec is a dope guy, and he's he's got some dope stuff, so good. I'm glad you, you got it. Let me know how it is. What do you... Yeah. Death by Magic? Are you talking about the TV show, Death by Magic? The DMC show? I know about it already. I've seen some of the episodes a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollar from Randed Hoodum Stranger. Love your stuff, man. Keep an eye out for me. Thank you, brother. I will. Because you're some random hooded stranger, and that's freaking scary. want to buy your classic pass video we'll go for it man is there a magic okay so this is an interesting question how do you know the names of all the moves you learn what if you go in blind and just come across these moves is there a magic dictionary with picks no there is not a magic dictionary with picks <laughs> there isn't but i you know i've been doing this for a while and I just remember it. You know, I've, I've taught a lot of people. I've done a lot of lectures. And I repeat these moves and these actions over and over and over. So they become pretty second nature to me. So I don't really think about it anymore. You know? So that's why. Can you show us second deal? I mean, I'll try. My fingers are pretty dry. But this is a... Uh, Ah, this is it. There we go. That's the way I do the second deal. <laughs> I just ended up pulling one back. Yeah. I haven't done this in a while, so it's not it's not coming out quite the way I want it to. But whatever. 
How do you have your fingers on the up the ladder cut to keep the bottom pack from from uh, spreading out? Good question. Okay. So I'm actually holding like this. So when I grab this packet, you see that? It's like the pinky is in the back. And then these two fingers are there. And I just come out to here and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm basically holding the top packet with the middle finger and, and the thumb and then the thumb and the other two fingers are holding uh, this right here right so just there like that see that any trick you regret learning? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of tricks I regret learning. But I ended up changing them around and making them dope. So, it's fine. Yeah. So, anybody else have any questions about this, man? Anybody? How do you bottom palm? I think, I've, I, think I did a video on the bottom palm. I think I did a whole video about the bottom palm guys a broken bridge shuffle what the hell is a broken bridge shuffle all right you guys are making stuff up now no all right so if there's no more questions we will move on False bridge table shuffle. Okay, it's not called a broken bridge shuffle. It's a shuffle by a guy named BJ Bueno called the Bueno Shuffle. And it's a false riffle shuffle on the table. All right? So basically, you come here, and now you do this. And that is a false shuffle. All right? So we'll do, we'll do this. All right? So... Come here. Oh. So go here. All right. Mess that up a little bit. But either way, I still didn't shuffle anything. All right. That's the BJ Bueno shuffle. Who's Daniel? Oh, Broken Bridges. Okay, I haven't seen that video. <laughs> you do the Charlie Miller spin pass. I do, actually. The Broken Bridge involves a cut. Yeah, this doesn't cut at all. So, with this... It's, it's, I, if I were to tell you what's happening, you would get really mad at me, right? But basically I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, Hey Spade, how did you reverse the card and do the production thing using the raise, rise, move and you flash, you lose. So I'm not going to teach that, but the reversal I did teach the reversal I actually taught on magic stream in my mystery card video. Fernando P1 released the, Buen, the BJ Bueno shuffle. God, that guy is such a dick, man. I really dislike that guy. I really dislike that guy. But it is what it is, right? Hold on. Quick, quick munchy break because I haven't eaten yet. And then we'll get back to the stuff what's up mad scientist welcome to my stream scam school is awesome brett uh brian brushwood is awesome he's a great guy super nice cares he has a lot of dope stuff going on You like guys like my Samsung TV?
<laughs> John O'Murray. X love this shit. Shout me out. Munch time. <laughs> What Bertram change? There's a lot of things that are called the Bertram change. There's the actual Bertram change, there's the TB change, and then there's the reverse TB change. And for the record, what kind of comment is that? I was hoping to see you do the Bertram change. Where did that come up? <laughs> and if you can't do it, Chris Ramsey does it. I don't, I don't get what that has to do with anything. <laughs> isn't that great isn't that great I showed somebody the clip shift and they said I have friends I could do the snap change too <laughs> hi from Tibet Tibet oh. DPS is a strong weapon if you know how to do it well and can use it Yeah, I'll probably do a meetup in Toronto at some point. And no, I'm not going to do school list. All right. I appreciate you guys. Miss Matisse on Twitch. Thank you so much. I have no interest in doing a magic competition at all. Joshua, anything by Akira Fuji? That's crazy. All the way into bet. Well, welcome. Yes, I know the Roadrunner full. <clears throat> I actually do the Roadrunner full all the time. I do it complete. No, I will not be at Battle of Magicians this year. What do you think of the Discord server? What What are these questions? What are these questions? I don't get it. All right, let's teach you another cool little thing here. So this is going to be a tabled one-handed slip cut. Okay. I'm not stoned. I'm just in, a, in pain, actually. So. Here we go. I have a Discord. <laughs> So here's the two of hearts, right? And uh, now you're gonna go to cut the deck. And the two of hearts stays on the table. Right? So this is a nice little uh, tabled slip cut that you don't have to do much. Right? And that's that. So let me show you how this is done. So here's the two. And as I go to cut the deck, the fingers underneath are going to pull the deck up. So that you're just barely touching the deck, right? Now, I know you can't really see this, but if I were to just let go of some cards, you see how it stays? I don't have to do much. It just pulls out. So this is what's happening on the table, right? So as I cut forward that, that those cards come out and the bottom card stays just like that right no, no oh excuse me I've, I've been drinking so uh, soda it's not alcohol so the first thing is the approach so as you come to grab the deck you lift up a little bit to get your fingers underneath now you pull forward and I'm actually dragging it with my ring finger 
Right. So you just kind of do this. Whoop. And that's it. All right. So it's so if you can control a card on the table, so let's say the bottom. So let's say the uh, what's a good one? All right, we'll do the five of clubs. So let's say you sight the five of clubs while you're shuffling, and you control it to the bottom, right? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> mm. Take care, Ace. Thanks for stopping Bob, bro. Right? So now, now if you want to cut the deck, you can just do that. Bam. You cut the deck, keep the card on the bottom. And then if you want, you could bottom palm it here. Right? Whoop. And now you have the card palmed. So that's that. Any questions on that? Anybody want to know about this? Hey, Spade, it would be amazing if you could make a shout out to, to Swaziland. What's up, Swaziland? Is that where you want to be to shout you out? <laughs> Swaziland. You want to see Raise? I'll do Raise Rice super quick. Yeah, I'll teach the Cascade Control. How would I compare my DPS to Ricky Smith's? I don't. Ricky Smith is awesome. He's a good friend of mine. And that's that. Is there a trick that Chris Ramsey fooled you with and can you show it to us? Actually, not that I can remember. I don't think so. Um, let's see, has he fooled me with anything? Oh, yes, he has actually, but it was an iPhone trick. It was an iPhone trick. So I can't show it to you. Okay. Tips on Gambler's Cup. Uh, okay, so I don't like a lot of copping because... A lot of people that I see do the cop, they pull this deck forward and back. Or they'll start here and then come forward and cop cards. And, and that, oh, good looks at that, Daniel. And uh, they'll they'll do something like that, right? So they'll come forward and, and then they'll do something like that. I don't necessarily like that. No, I'm not in Discord right now. Um, so what I do is this, you're going to see some cards just kind of shoot back, right? And that's how I do it. So I don't pull the deck back. I pull the cards back. That's where I keep those cards. Right? So here's what's happening from underneath. From underneath, as I'm holding the deck from above like this. My index finger pulls this back a little bit, and then my ring finger push my middle finger pushes back more until the ring finger is just holding it like that. And now it's in cop position. So from here, I don't have to move my fingers or my hand much to get that card into the cop position, and I can go do what I want. Uh, but I just learned something else that uh, you guys should check out. It's by Chris Brown, and it's called Under the Roof, and man this thing fried the hell out of me it was so cool but that is the, I mean that's what I do for the cops so I come here to there and now I go right to the pocket right I don't have to move the deck back and forth to do that 
you know, so if I'm sitting at the right angle, it's just there and then you go. Like, you don't have to come here. I, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. And I'm just saying under the roof because it's reminiscent of what we're talking about now. Oh, yeah, you did try it, right? Like, yeah, it's just... The angles for what? Are you talking about for the, the cop? Copying a card always has the same angles. And the angle is this right here. Okay? So you go from about here to about there. That's it. That's your angle. See that? No flashing. But I'm, I am holding cards, right? So that's it. Those are your angles. And this is why using a camera is so good, too. Because I could move the camera to a different position, like let's say right here, and then I could I could test out my angles here, right? It's like a mirror where I can't see, right? I do know Wayne Hutchin, he's awesome. Awesome, super, super nice guy. Can you do undertow? Yeah, I do undertow all the time. There you go. Um, Ramsey has a great tutorial on what? Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, so here, here's what I'm doing, right? So if I just do this, right, there's not a lot of motion. And now the middle finger just does that. It's like my fingers are just relaxing. Like I'm just kind of grabbing the deck, right? And that's it. Right? Let's see if I can do undertow again. See, that's it slow. Right? So the nine of spades. There you go. Who's my best buddy in the game? I have a lot, man. I have a lot of good friends right now. Uh, Ramsey is obviously one of them. Nick Seriano is another one. Uh, Ian Frisch. Uh, most of the guys you see, Garrett Thomas, Daniel Garcia, Eric Hu, all of these guys are my really good friends. Uh, Marcus Eddy, I was just talking to the other day. Marcus Eddy, Alex Rangel, uh, Jeremy Griffith. I, I, I have too many to name. I have too many good friends to name. And I'm not going to label them who's like the best and the worst and who... Out of all your friends who's best kisser or anything like that. It's not that serious. What is your favorite pass? My favorite pass is a pass that I don't do. And I'm not going to teach because it's not mine to teach. But when I do do it, I guarantee you, you won't know it. <laughs> Yeah, somebody mentioned Magic is Dead book. Huh? How about that? How about that? Bam. It's right here. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I am so excited to read this book. I haven't been excited to read a book in a long time. And I can't believe I'm actually a part of this book. This is crazy. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm trying not to read it right now. <laughs> uh, yeah so real quick I'll go over one more thing that I said I'll go over and that was the cascade control alright and then we'll talk about some stuff and maybe do some more take care Fritz G Alex Boyer <laughs> Shut up, Alex. <laughs> Alex Boyer. He's another one. You should go check out his channel right now, actually.
Yeah, Alex is a good friend of mine. Wait, what the hell just happened? So, if you don't know, you need to check out his stuff right there. Take care, Ruben. And yeah. Any tips for raise rise? So, uh, I'll talk about raise rise a little bit later. So, real quick, let's do the cascade control. Yeah? So, this is the way I do the cascade control. I do it from a peak usually, right? So, somebody peaks a card. And then I hold a little thumb break, a little pinky break right there, right? So from here, as my hand goes over, I'm going to kick this card out just like that. Now, this is done underneath the hand this way so you don't see it, right? Now, from here, the hand underneath is going to straddle this card like this. And now I lever the entire deck up as my hand goes in to squeeze the deck for this, right? See that? Now, I'm going to do a few things at once. I'm going to lift my hand up and out. I'm going to dip my hand down a little bit. And that's going to create a little pocket, right? So you just go here there now even from here it's still hard to see the card right all right so there's the four of clubs this goes here this is this is my version of the charlie miller cascade control the actual cascade control is different what's up miss mag you love you sexy beast listen to xavier's advice would be better so <laughs> Uh, actually, somebody said something about going to FISM. I might actually be lecturing at FISM, uh, 2020. So I might be doing Blackpool and then FISM. So, yeah. So as, as you do this, right, you show the card, you push this out, you give it a little riffle. There you go. And that's it. And the way I do it can really be done surrounded. Like, even if you're behind me, you're not seeing anything. So I'll do this face up. So you can see the moment that, see that? And that's it. This whoop. And it's weird when you see it face up because you see how late the cards the card gets there, right? How far do you pull the card down? Not far at all. So when I do this, and I, I'm, how can I do this? Yeah, there you go. So I'm going from here, which is right around the, the width of my fingers, to like double that. And then my hand is going from here to about there at the same time. Right? So, see that? Now I just pull back. And that's it. Take care, random hooded stranger. Guys, I, I'm, I don't like to beg, you know what I mean? But I really am trying to get my Twitch game on point. So if you guys can, uh, I just posted the link in Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. And I will. I, I do lots of stuff. There. I do giveaways. I play games. You know, I, I talk all the time. Kind of like this, but there. So if you can, go hit me up on Twitch. And I'm actually going to be playing later tonight. So later tonight, I will be doing Twitch as well. Uh, aside from this, I just wanted to do a video for you guys and get this going. What games do I play? Uh, Call of Duty, the new one. Uh, Overwatch. I just got Fallout 67. Uh, I like to play random games too. So. You hear that in the background? You hear that right there? What the hell is that? Hold on. Of course. Uh, 
Sorry, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys. Um, uh, well, so, when you do the cascade control, is it, is it important that the cards fall neatly? No, it's okay if, if they fall messy. You know, the whole point is you're putting air into the card, right? So you're doing, you're doing that. All right? It doesn't matter. How often do you replace your cards? Um, honestly, I don't go through many cards at all. So this DMC deck over here, uh, I had about a month before they came out. Right? I had them about a month before they came out, and I'm still using... Look at, look at, they still look brand new, Right? Yeah, look at that. So I don't I don't replace cards very often at all. I just uh I wonder if I could read them from here. I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> oh well. Right? Almost brand new. So the thing is, it's not about how often you switch the deck. It's how often you switch the deck while you're using it. So I won't use this deck for like 14 hours straight. I'll use it for about an hour or two. Then I'll put it down and then I'll, I'll pick up another deck, right? And I'll do that. So it's not happening. It's not that. <clears throat> What's up, Jared Becker? <laughs> Interesting dream that you're dreaming about Ramsey. Dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> Alright, so tips for Raise Rise. Let's get into it. I don't ruin any decks in a day, to be honest. Like, I, you know, I'm pretty gentle with my cards. I don't perform a deck switch. I don't at all. Twitch does not cost money. Who told you that? Twitch is free. <laughs> there, Twitch is just as free as YouTube. The only thing that costs money is subscribing, but you can follow for free. So I don't know who gave you that info, but they are wrong. When I when I raise rise, oh, when I rise cards, they come out kind of crooked, especially when it's closer to the bottom. Uh, so we'll do one close to the bottom there. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what you're doing, Mister Burns. Thank you for the follow. Um, so. I think the problem is Tom Nugent. No, it's not mine. And Tony Chang's <laughs> Ray's Rise is Ray Cosby's, and then I put my little touches on it, and that's it. So I, I think the problem is you're just not used to it. Also, too, notice um, a lot of people that start learning Raise Rise, they start doing this, right? They start trying to do this. And it's not this at all, right? It's this. So go here, go here, right? So I'm not popping this up like this. I'm leaving it right here. And now I do the Rise from here, right? So I don't know exactly what's causing the card to come out crooked. The only thing I could think of is maybe you're moving this thumb and the card's doing this, right? That's the only thing I could think of. Or maybe you're doing that. Maybe you're kicking it out way too far. 
you know, you don't need to kick it out far like this. But even if you do, you just push down with these fingers and it'll square up. See? So. Like it doesn't even have to go out far. You know what I mean? Just here. Yeah, we'll do we'll do four. Yeah. So rise, 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 rise. I don't do the flicker shot, so no. <laughs> I don't do a center deal. I do know somebody who does do a center deal though, and he does it probably the best I've ever seen. So, the ambitious riser move is by Fred Robinson, correct? But the original ambitious riser was nothing close to what Ray Cosby was doing if you really looked at it. The original ambitious riser move was like this was like, it would end up like this that so if that's happening to you you're doing the original ambitious <laughs> riser move right so ray cosby made it uh this thing that was this multiple rise and, and he does a sandwich effect with it I don't play Fortnite. I'm so bad at Fortnite, and it just kind of aggravates me. The only thing I've played on Fortnite is um, the PvE with the zombies. I played that. Does your thumb move when you do the rise? No, not at all. Not at all. So th watch my thumb. Watch the cards. See these two fingers? They do not move. They don't move. No matter what happens, they don't move. Okay, so I'll do three at once. See that? They don't move. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a lot of diff difficulties in the beginning uh, learning this. Finger position, pressure, placement, timing, doing the damn move. Everything was wrong. So I had to, I had to figure my own hand out, and that's I think the big difference between. You know, learning something and understanding something. When you first learn something, um, you don't understand it. You're just trying to figure out the motions. But when you really understand it, you learn how to change it. You learn how to adapt it. You can do it easily on the fly from something else. You understand it. And understanding is the hardest place to get to when you're practicing slights. And I think a lot of people don't get there. They just give up and they just want quick answers, you know. When I do the rise back the uh, when I do rise back of the deck shifts away from the base of my thumb. Uh, you have to change the position of your thumb. You know, if you notice, I'm not I'm not doing I'm not doing this, right? My thumb's at an angle, right? So it's going across the entire length of uh, width of the deck, right? See that? Best color change for layman is the one you can do the best, bro. That is the best one for layman. Munch time. Yeah, two times an app, yeah. My favorite tattoo? This one? And the one on my leg. Those are probably my favorite. Yeah, that I, I won't teach.
And and I only did that for one video. I don't actually do it like that. Yeah, French Kiss is like an instant classic, to be honest. Not really. <laughs> I mean, the DPS. Just one of those moves you just gotta, gotta do. You have to, like I said, there's certain moves you could do. That you can pretty much do it any time. You don't have to think about like a double lift, right? Like once you figure out how to hold a card, that's it. But a DPS, it's one of those like dynamic moves that depending on the situation the moisture of the cards the way you're feeling like that could all change and you have to be able to deal with it on the fly i'm not showing the pass bro good try one-handed cuts i don't know <laughs> I mean, this is a one-handed pass I'm doing here. So I actually taught this on one of the videos, too. What? What? I spring cards a lot, actually. And dribble. I have my own magic store. It's called lostartmagic.com. See this? Just go here, dot com. Okay, so yeah, so I'm just going to mention it one more time. If you guys can, please go follow me on Twitch. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm going to be streaming later on tonight, hanging out with some of my peoples on the game world. And other than that, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Later on, I will be on Twitch, so you can ask me questions there. You can come hang out with me there. If you play games, I, I invite people to play all the time. To play games if we're, if you have the same game that I'm playing. So, check me out there. Also, <laughs> also my Instagrams and all that other stuff is RotDur. And uh, I appreciate all of you guys. So, I will see you guys on Twitch later tonight. I'll probably be streaming around 8.30, 9 o'clock. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go read Magic is Dead, which if you don't have, you should pre-order it. I, I, this is crazy to me. This is absolutely crazy to me that I'm in a fucking book. Oh, my God. With some of my best friends. It's crazy. So, go pre-order the book. And I'll see you guys later tonight on Twitch. Go follow me. Follow me. Follow, follow, follow.